I can honestly say that the best thing about IMEX America is that there is something for everyone from Smart Monday to all our co-located partner events, the tours, the show floor education program, the networking opportunities. IMEX America really does have it all. And, you know, it is Vegas. So there is always something going on at any hour of the day. But with so much to do and only a few days to do it in, uh, you know, and also all the business opportunities, we really don't want you to miss out on all of those special experiences. So let's kick off, Dale. Um, let me ask you, with uh, starting with our keynotes and our headliners, which speakers are you most looking forward to hearing from? Yeah. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for that wonderful introduction, Natasha. And it's so great to have everybody here with us today. Um, why? Um, what we've done, Natasha, for the show is we've actually looked at um, our design of how we're designing our program. And we realize that this year there are going to be many people who just want to come and talk to each other and network. This is a big live event, IMEX, and we're hoping that people feel comfortable and safe to come together and network with each other. So we have designed space and the um, education space to have a bit more room for you to, to, to feel comfortable in. And also the programming has been designed with a lot more networking and interactive peer-to-peer -peer learning, which we feel is going to be very important. So obviously, we're going to kick off um, the whole of IMEX with our Smart Monday program with our strategic partner, MPI. And um, on Monday, we, we've got some great, uh, we've got a great keynote who will be starting us off. Her name is Dr. Shimi Kang. And Dr. Shimi Kang will be talking about 21st century stress and innovation, which I think has become quite a, a prevalent point for a lot of people mm -hmm. over, the, over the last 18 months. And it's also um, going to give people some real, real hints and tips on you know, how, to, how to take business forward with innovation and what to look at um, going forward. We also then have some brilliant headliners that will be taking place on Smart Monday. And um, I know some of you who have been part of our virtual offering for so many months have got to know a few of these people. So we'll have Janet Spurstad and um, Guy Bigworld. They'll be kicking us off with the first headliner talking about regenerative revolution. So how does that differ from sustainability, which is, again, quite important for us now. Um, we'll also then have um, Rude Frisson and Roll, who are from the Event Design Collective. They're going to be um, talking us through design through change. They have a whole new offering that they've been working on during the last 18 months, which I think people will find very new and very exciting. Um, we've got David Allison, who's going to be talking about value graphics. So he's going to be taking us a little bit away from looking at demographics as our benchmarking tool and moving more towards values and what people believe in and how we can place people together through learning and values, which I think is really important. And then, of course, we've a lot of you have already seen um, Daniel Fox's beautiful photography mm -hmm. in the wilderness. Yes. It's just been incredible. So yes. he's going to be talking about sort of how, you know, how to manage change um, with nature. So we'll begin with nature, end with nature for the headliners. And I think that will be a, a, be, a, a beautiful start and end to the day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's, there, there's a lot happening on Smart Monday. Those are just a few. I mean, I would advise that anybody actually goes. We're, we're now live. Um, so please go to the IMEX website and look under what's on and you'll see all the offerings that are taking place on Monday because I can't possibly talk about all our wonderful speakers today in our 15 minutes. No, you're quite right, Dale. And if people think of it like a huge circus tent with everything going on, you really need to plan your attack. Yes. You know, because you can't be everywhere all at once. And we totally get that. And I suppose that's maybe the downside of the show is that there is so much and you can't possibly do it all. Um, some of the keynotes, uh, Dale, um, on the other days, because obviously the keynotes, your opportunity really to kick off your day. It's that bit of inspiration. It sets the tone uh, for the full day of business and networking and everything that goes with it. So who, who have we got lined up? Right, so on Tuesday, we'll have Radha Agrawal, 
who um, I believe you interviewed actually I on one of indeed. our virtual platforms. Madam Daybreaker herself. <laughs> yes, who's incredible. She's she's done a heck of a lot of work building your dream community from scratch. And again, it's all issues that have become prevalent over the last 18 months, communities, engagement. So we're trying to sort of, you know, work the work, work the program a little bit, what we feel people will, will need. At, at a live event this year and able to talk about it. And then of course, we've got Eric Coleman, who um, he's obviously a thought leader all around digital. So he does digital leadership and he's gonna talk us through five habits to success, um, happiness in an ever-changing world. So I don't think any of us can ever get enough happiness. So I think that will be a, a, a really fun, um, fun session for a lot of people and he's also a really fun guy and really interactive and he engages people very well oh we love that and in yes. terms of uh, rada um sydney has put a really helpful post in the chat about her book so maybe that's something for for people to look up if they want to do a bit of homework before you actually get to the show and then dale i mean there is just so much going on but um Seeing as we have Rud with us, maybe you'd like to talk a little bit more about the Event Design Collective and the Design for Good program, because that really sounds fantastic. Yeah, I wish I almost wish we could bring you up on stage here, Rude. It's he, Rude and Roll are going to be doing some brilliant work. They're going to be on the show floor as well. So they'll have a booth, which is by the Inspiration Hub. For those of you who have been to a live show before, the Inspiration Hub is this whole hub of education, interactive engagement, and Event Design Collective will be doing a project throughout the three days. They're going to be doing a pre-event um, of this to get people engaged. But it's basically working with um, qualified event designers who have done, done their event design course and also people who haven't. So they're really wanting to engage lots of, um, lots of thought leaders, lots of people with just great ideas. And they're going to be working on a wonderful um, a, a sort of a event really so we're going to be working with um i don't some of you might have joined one of the virtual sessions on this but you might not have but they're going to be working with airbus to ensure that they can come up with a with another um sort of idea around a, a, a beautiful design for good project that airbus is very sort of behind and works on um all the time you know they they really are altruistic in their thinking and they're working very closely with a, with a gentleman at Airbus who's who's very engaged. So this is very much trying to get everybody to come together, get their ideas together, design together, and um, come up with an amazing idea at the end. So more on that though. Um, there is going to be a pre-event on this before the before the show, probably on the twenty eighth of October, so people can hear more about that. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. And I'm just going to answer a quick question as I see it, Dale. Yes. Someone has asked if you're a hosted buyer, can you attend Smart Monday? Absolutely. If your program dates include Monday, then you are more than welcome to attend and it's free to everybody. Um, and that's what's so beautiful about Smart Monday. Dale, I was really interested also because um, another new feature is Dear World are joining us. And I'm always curious, they're the people with the writing on the arm. What's that all about? That's correct. So they'll be at Smart Monday as well. And then they'll be on the show floor again, opposite the Inspiration Hub. So do make a point to get to the Inspiration Hub over the three days. Um, Dear World really allow people to tell their story. Um, and, and they learn a lot about themselves as well, actually, um, just by, you know, by doing being photographed, they have a photograph taken with with the words on their arm. And then they're able to express that story and tell their story. And it's about um, perhaps a lesson learnt. It's about a very sad moment in their life. It's about a very joyful moment in their life. But it's usually a learning experience and it's storytelling um, in, a, in a different way. So it's very special. Um, I, I find it a very, very special thing that Dear World do. And I hope a lot of people get to enjoy that as well. Absolutely, Dale. I certainly am going to get my Sharpie pen out. <laughs> um, and we've had a question, Dale, and it ties in really nicely about our specialist programming. So someone is asking about She Means Business, which I know is planned. But could you just tell us a little bit more about our specialist programming and what we're going to 
to have in store? Yes, we, ha we have a lot for everybody. Um, again, a lot of this is on Monday. So there is, um, we, we've got a new program, which I'll bring out because it is new. It's Corporate Focus, which is um, for all corporate buyers to be able to attend. It is a closed event for corporate buyers. It will be at Smart Monday in the same area as that. And it's a two hour more interactive networking peer to peer. So we've 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 understood and we've listened that corporates really would love to be able to just talk to them to each other in a in a safe, closed environment. So that's what we're hoping to provide with um, corporate focus and hope many people will attend. There's obviously also the wonderful association leadership, which I know you can talk a little bit around, uh, Natasha, but we're looking at a, at a different program for that this year, which I think will be very engaging. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, there's the, um, we've got She Means Business, which is another whole different sort of full day programming so people can join that track throughout the day and stay with the she means business program or they can attend one of the four sessions from she means business and attend other uh, other other sessions throughout the day and we've got so, um, the new president and ceo of uh, asae michelle mason will be joining that program won't she she will which we're so excited about yes so she, um that that will be quite an exciting um session that will be the first session of the day uh michelle Mason and Courtney Stanley will be interviewing a gentleman um, around diversity issues and sort of talking sort of like-minded you know the, the people they will be talking with will be like-minded but we do want to engage um, thought leadership from from our men folk in the industry as well so um, this is where we're trying to bring in that interview feeling trying to get people engaged we hope the audience can get engaged in these sessions as well. And just to mention that Smart Monday is open to everybody, attendees, exhibitors, you know, anybody Everyone. attending the show and it's completely free and you don't have to pre-register. All great reasons to attend. Um, Dale, apart from the specialist programs, we also have a whole series of tours, um, which people often don't even know are happening. So I wouldn't want anyone to go away this afternoon and not know about those. So could you just give us a quick Yes, of course, of course I can. I just also want to remind everybody that they can get their CMP points with with a lot of the education at IMEX. So it, it, it's really worthwhile to sort of consider that in your um, in your CMP and your EIC planning. So, um, yes, there are a lot of lot of tours happening this year. So again, we wanted to make sure that people got out and about and experienced a little bit of Vegas. So we'll have the lip smacking foodie tours. We did have those in 2019, but we have got different restaurants, different types of food um, and a different experience. So Don is working on that for us. That is a paid for tour, but you can go onto the website and you'll find that under all the events. And there are on. two of those, right, Dale? Are downtown, so like the old Vegas experience with Fremont Street and so on. And then there's a strip. Yeah. Yes, and it is incredible. I mean, it really is a VIP experience. You know, you get a full course at each place. You can get a wine package included or a drink package, whichever you prefer. I know I would go for my glass of wine, but <laughs> other you? people like Absolutely. something different. <laughs> so, but it is a wonderful experience, and I hope people get to sort of sign on to that and have the time for that. New this year will be the mystery trip. So um, this is a, a company called Mystery Trip who do, uh, it's, it's, com it's a complete surprise. You sign up, this is a paid for event as well. You sign up, you go somewhere very unique, somewhere different in Las Vegas. You do an activity, you get fed, um, you get watered, and you get to have an amazing experience. I mean, it just sounds great fun. Yes. So for those with a little bit of mystery in their heart, I think this could be a fun, a fun one for you. Um, and then, of course, there's um, these are the non paid for um, tours that will be taking place. We've got the Caesars Forum Conference Center Tour. Now, for all of you who don't know, that is the brand new conference center that Caesars has built 550,000 square feet. So this is an amazing venue. Um, and I think it's not to be missed for those people who are just, you know, very curious about different building, different event um, spaces. And I, I think it will be very interesting. There's also the meeting centric um, tours. Those will be at the Mandalay Bay on Smart Monday. So um, th there will be three of those a day. It's again, all on a first come first basis. So um, you, you, you do need to get there in good time to attend these. These are back of the house tours. Um, and uh, 
the the MG the, the Mandalay will be talking to um to the people about sort of all, all the exciting things that happen back of house. So should you put an event there? What happens? What happens the minute your event arrives and the process that goes through? And of course, they'll also be looking at their sustainable projects um, that they have at the Mandalay, which I think a lot of people will find incredible. They're doing so much. And then another very new one, which I'm excited about, is the Solar Array Tour. Oh, gosh, yes. So <laughs> this... Is that yeah. the one, Dale, where, if I read correctly, that it, the Solar Array powers over 90 percent of all of the power usage of all of the MGM properties during the day. Is that that's, right? That's 100 percent correct and it's just incredible what they're doing. Um, so obviously anyone who attends this tour will you know be whisked out to the desert, have a look at the at, at the um, at the solar array and we'll, we'll also learn all about it which is so interesting. I mean you know it's, it's, it's a really great opportunity for people who are interested in solar anyway. I mean, I mean, I, I think it's just a really good opportunity to to, to learn, to learn a little Absolutely. bit, something different, something different for the day. Unlike us here in the UK, they have sun, so it will work. <laughs> yes. The solar array would not be very helpful here, but never mind. We won't no, go there. we've got wind. We have wind. Oh, we have wind. Yes. <laughs> we have wind. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So, Dale, this is a really difficult question, but if you, like all of us, you know, you're not going to manage to do everything. If you could only do two sessions or two activities during the show what would they be oh natasha honestly I i'm so excited yeah. about so many and i'm finding this really difficult but i would love to do the solar, solar array tour just because it's something that i'm very interested in i'm very behind sustainability regeneration i really believe in it so it's something i would love to learn more about um, and of course i love design and i love design of events and I think that that's the future for our event industry is designing very well planned events. Okay. And I think Design for Change will be one that I would really love to attend with um, Event Design Collective. Yes. Oh, brilliant. And Dale, the Solar Tour, is that only on Monday? Because we've had a question. It is. It's only okay. on the Monday. Yes. Right. It's on the Monday evening. So for those people who are coming in a little later will still be able to join that. Brilliant. Oh, thank you. That was a really terrific going through a lot of different things <laughs> it is i wish i could talk about everything because there's just so many exciting things but please as i said do go and look at what's on um tash i've got a question for you because i feel oh, i'm okay. just dominating this conversation um what are the features that you're excited about what, what are you looking for Again, like you, it's a struggle because there's so many, but um, something quite close to my heart and very, very close to the Inspiration Hub, in fact, um, connected to it on the show floor, will be our new people and planet village. So for many years, we had a sustainability village which has championed you know, green meetings, sustainable products, and just generally a green ethos towards your events. We've widened that out now to champion not only sustainability, but um, social justice, diversity, uh, social impact and giving back. Um, all of these things are so important. And this new village will have partners such as um, the Events Industry Council, a new organization called Tourism Diversity Matters, ECPAT USA that challenge um, human trafficking, LGBT MPA, uh, Search Foundation, which is a charity, uh, the Meetings Industry Fund, Clean the World is also where Luna's uh, Clubhouse will be, which I know I'm going to ask you about. Um, and we'll also be asking people to, um, and that's both attendees and exhibitors, to take part in our People and Planet pledges. Very easy to do, um, and it means that you can be recognised um, for, for, you know, for upholding those values and taking part uh, in what we are doing on the show floor. So it's really, apart from the Inspiration Hub where the education is going to take place, the People and Planet Village is really a worthwhile place to visit and I want to see it grow and flourish. It's a bit like my little baby. And I'm 100% sure that it will. Um, it's it's a great it's it's a great area, and I think people will find you know a lot of joy there as well with some of the sessions that are taking place. 
And one particularly joyful thing is the clubhouse build. So could you tell us about that? Oh, that is just a wonderful project. So KLH Group, um, they produce really large events. Um, they have a project, a CSR project, where they um, build sort of large, I don't know, we call them Wendy houses, don't we, in the UK, but large sort of playhouses for children. Um, so these children usually have um, very serious illnesses. And so it's, it's, it's again to bring them some joy in their life. They usually get delivered to their homes so that they have these um, little houses that they play in with their friends. Um, in, in, the, in our case, we have dedicated the house and KLH have dedicated the house to um, Luna, who is again the most special little girl. She was diagnosed with a form of, um, of brain cancer when she was only nine months old. So she is strong, she fights. They've told us so much about her personality. She's, she sounds like an incredible, incredible child. Um, and this, this playhouse will be donated um, to Luna. However, Luna's asked that it goes to her um, nursery school rather than um yeah rather than her own home because she says she would like to share it with her friends at nursery oh. so i i think that that's ever so sweet and um and yeah i think her family are gonna be with us aren't they in vegas they will they'll be staying the night they, I, they they will hopefully come and join us on the show floor obviously luna we have to you know luna may not but we'll be able to video luna in and she will be with her family in vegas but just perhaps not coming to the busy show floor yes. um but she will be in vegas with us as well and um yeah i just I, I just hope that again it's another thing for you guys to spread your time over but get to the people in planet village and help build the house for luna because i think again you'll find some sort of joy in that while you're at the show absolutely and if anybody wants to find either you or i dale then the inspiration hub and the people in planet village is, is a good start a hundred percent yes yes we might be running around with our hair on fire but you know <laughs> that's how it is when you're running an event this is true this is very very true um so thinking about networking tash because obviously this is a huge feature of imex networking finding big. your people um what would you recommend people try oh boy well there's the official networking and then there's the unofficial networking and we won't um, go into that but i think you know, for a short period of time, there are three different events that I would highly recommend. So on the Sunday, the, on the 7th of November, before the, sh before the show starts, um, the Events Industry Council will have their Hall of Leaders and Pace Setter Awards. They will be at an MGM property. They haven't said which one yet, so there's a bit of mystery around that. Um, but it's a really lovely event. It recognizes, you know, the best in our industry over a myriad of different categories. And it's just a wonderful opportunity um, for us to get together and, and really celebrate excellence. Uh, another fantastic event, um, particularly for the incentive travel uh, market is the Site Night North America. Uh, a really, really popular event. It's, it is ticket only. Uh, so I will just say all of these events are, are ticket only, um, but it's been a real stalwart of all of our um, IMAX Americas, and it's going to take place um, the brand new Resorts World, which is a bit further up the strip, and all the proceeds um, from Site Night North America go to the Site Foundation. And equally, there is the, in my humble opinion, unmissable MPI rendezvous on Wednesday night at Gray's <laughs> Bar. And is that not the most fun? Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. You get outdoors, you get to sort of put your feet in the swimming pool and you get to have a dance. What more can you ask for? Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. And I'm afraid I am like Cinderella. My carriage turns into a pumpkin <laughs> and my, my gown goes to rags because I go over time, but it is just such a lot of fun. Um, you know, it really is a fantastic opportunity. It's a beautiful location, looking over the Bellagio fountains. Wow. I think they've reduced the price this year for the tickets, so they're $100. And, you know, what more to say, except that it's a great night out. And again, all of the proceeds go to the MPI Foundation. So those would be my three recommendations. And now, Dale, I see that we've got five minutes left. So, you know, we've done a lot of talking. Is there anybody that wants to join us on the stage? Or I think Rude has. Ah, there's Rude. 
Is Rude able to speak? <laughs> I don't know if he's able to speak, but we're delighted to see your face, Rude. And so looking forward. Ah, there we go. Welcome. Hey. How are you? <laughs> very, very good. Thank you. Excellent. Well, thanks for the shout out. Really, uh, really nice. And hearing all of these events that are going on is just mind blowing, right? Um, it really the is. one thing that I wasn't able to prepare because I wasn't prepared for this is that my dog is actually making some noise underneath my <laughs> desk, which is all part of our online world, right? That we're going into. But I'm super excited to see these things. Uh, the rendezvous, you know, feed in the pool sounds like something you cannot miss, definitely. No, um, don't end up in the pool, though. You don't want to. No, 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 no. Yourself. We don't want to end up in the pool. No, no. So <laughs> maybe just a short, a short snippet because Bill, you mentioned that. Um, so the design for good is still, you know, it's so fresh, it's so new in this collaboration with the Airbus Foundation and IMAX uh, uh, group. We're so excited to see to bring people together to not just talk about design or not to talk about the future, but to make the future, right? So the ability to kind of join hands and do stuff together, um, not just at Smart Monday, which will be the headliner, but every day there's going to be design sprints taking place where people can join in with people that are already familiar with how to design, but also people that have not yet been inducted into how this works. We welcome them on board to join the design process. So uh, we're keen to get them actually on board already earlier on the 28th of October, I think is our first session where we're going to be online doing the kickoff of the briefing, what we're designing for. And then all the way through the week, we're going to design and then post the event, we're going to look at the prototypes that are going to be fed back for this uh, for good challenge. So. We're super excited about it. This has never been done before. It's completely brand new. So thank so you for exciting. Really, really with exciting. Us with that. Yeah. Oh, and we're so happy that you're going to be there doing this. It's it's just a, it's just an amazing project. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I don't know, Tash, did you have any other questions that you I know we've only literally got three minutes here, but were there questions no, in the uh, I just I can't see any more questions in the chat. So if anybody has anything that they want to ask, if you want to join us on the stage. Um, you know, please do. Uh, someone has asked if this is going to be recorded. It has been. Um, so I'm sure there'll be the opportunity to view it again. I'm just not sure how and where, but we will let you know. Um, so Dale and I are recorded for posterity. And I'm sure this will be used against us at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100% sure of that. And I just want to say to all the people that I couldn't mention, I, I I love you and appreciate you and we're so grateful that you're coming to the show and speaking for us and joining us in in, in all the events that we will be holding it's it's really is appreciated it really does take a village to to bring this all together and we are really really lucky with how many contributors we do have um someone has asked when uh, appointment scheduling will begin i believe that's normally about a month out from the show um, so you will get notification in your portals, whether that's your exhibitor portal or your buyer portal that will let you know uh, the key um, dates and activities. And of course, the business is very, very important. But obviously, these are all the things that make that business all the more worthwhile. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but the, the, the what's on is live. I'll repeat that. You can go onto the website now and um, see all, some, of the, some of the things I've mentioned and a lot more. So you can book on to some of them. Some are not bookable. It's just first come. But um, yeah, you'll see that when you go into the what's on on the IMEX website. Um, all I can say is that we, Dale and I and the team are just really, really looking forward to having you with us in person, in real life, in the same time zone. Uh, you know, just being in the same room is going to be absolutely fantastic. And to top it all off, we're in Vegas where, well, it just all happens. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us.